Well, I'll tell you something. Did the endorsements? I would say you know? Joe Namath would be a really Joe good Namath. example because yeah. 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 and he was kind of flashy. He wore the uh, the, yeah. the the, the, the fur coat yeah. and the. Uh, he, he was on the Brady Bunch. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I remember the Brady Bunch. He did Bunch. the Ben Gay commercial. Was that, uh, what was that guy's name? <laughs> Joe Namath. Joe Namath. But Joe uh, Willie. Joe uh, Willie Namath. Joe Namath. I remember Joe with, uh, Joe. Now no, 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 look at Austin Howard. Montana. He, Montana. Oh, Joe Montana, yeah. Joe Montana. Now look at Lawrence Taylor. Hell, man, he was a good football player for the Giants. Yeah. For many long years. Yeah, yeah. But he tackled every quarterback he, he sacked. Yeah. And he was, he was big. Monday Night Football with yeah. Howard Cosell uh-huh. and Frank Gifford. Broadcasting. Right. It's the Giants, uh, uh, New York, the football Giants, uh-huh. yeah. against the Washington Redskins. Yeah. And Joe Theismann is the quarterback for Washington, and, right, and right. Lawrence Taylor comes in from the linebacker spot. Bang. And sort of, and so accidentally he gets, he gets blocked and he falls into Montana, not Montana, right. into Joe Theismann. Yeah. He falls into Joe Theismann, and all of a sudden Taylor's up calling to the bench. And you could actually hear on camera because he fell into a Joe Theismann's leg, and you could hear the bone break oh, God. on camera. You could hear the bone break. Ouch! Oh, God. So, um, so whose leg so was this? The quarterback. Oh, Joe, who, Joe Theismann. And Lawrence oh. Taylor got blocked. Yeah. He came in to, yeah. to tackle him, and he got yeah. blocked, and he just yeah. sort of fell into him in an awkward way, oh, my and God. just caught throw Joe Theismann's leg just the wrong way, yeah. and oh, fell and God. rolled over it. And, uh, and and Taylor jumped right up and he was calling to the, the Washington bench oh to uh, yeah. to come in and because he, he knew the guy was hurt. Oh my God! And they had to carry him off and he had he had not the, the surgery Is surgery that why for. Why they named the war reward after him? The trophy, the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> no, see, now we're going into football. That's the Heisman Trophy. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're, that's you, like, I was there talking about baseball or who broke Fo- their thigh? Yeah. Baseball football. or football? The, oh, okay. football, football has the Heisman Trophy. Oh, and right. a guy by the name, when he played for Notre Dame, a guy by the name of Joe Theismann yeah. won confused. the Heisman Trophy, trophy. because he was a for, the, for the best player that year that's right. in football. So the guy who broke his thigh, was he no, the one that like, reward was no, he? No, it was, it, was, it was Joe Legman that broke his thigh. Oh, God. It was Joe Theismann that broke his leg. That's funny. That, <laughs> now look at Elson Howard. He, he he was a good manager for the Yankees for many years ago. Elson Howard, yeah. And they, they always start fights. These guys. I'll tell you something. Now look, look now look at Bob Shepard. Bob Shepard. He was he was a good announcer See, for many. He was an announcer. Okay. You're, now you're getting into some areas that I'm not. So you got to explain some stuff to me as you go along. I'll ask you yeah. questions. Go ahead. Now Bob Shepard was a good man when he announced the team. Who was this? Bob Shepard. Bob Shepard, okay. He used to do it in the booth there. Wow. And he called, like, Derek Jeter up the bat. Wow. And, and he called up one of the, um, huh. what was the other guy's name? Um, he called up the, 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 the I forgot the name of the guy, but he called Tito Martinez. Oh. Tito Martinez, yeah, for the Yankees, yeah. And, he, and Tito hit a two-run homer. Wow. And he beat he beat the backs of uh, two runs, and he, he creamed it. Wow. He hit the Angels out of it, but... Uh, I think the Yankees, the Yankees had a good team for yeah. many years. Probably. But when you right. see the Yankees play, they had like a two-run shot in the ninth inning there. Right. The Yankees, like, the, you go into like the Yankees stadium, is like like a little series. Right, yeah. And uh, huh. and when I used to watch, like, like now, Frank Messer was a good announcer, like, many years ago. Frank right. Messer, yeah, who was, I guess... He did the radio with John he Gordon did, for many yeah, he years. He did another team before the Yankees. I think it might have been Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah, but yeah, he was announced for the Yankees for a long time, yeah. He did radio with John Gordon in, in the radio booth hmm. for many years. And these two like, were talking to each other. Right. And, and you now the other guy was like Michael Kay, who does the, the TV side of the, yep. the booth. And he goes, John Stern. <laughs> and here is he's Stern like this. <laughs> yeah. And he, he, Stern is a wild guy. I tell you, he's telling you something, busy guy. Yeah. And, he, and, and then Susan Wildman over there, she's wild with him. They do both ready every, every week on uh, 60 WFAN. But so w- you tell me this, Tony. What's, yeah. what's, what's more complicated? What's harder to do? What? To sit in the booth broadcasting mm-hmm. a baseball game right. yeah. or sitting in a theater like this Having, having, like have, having some soup and, and talking about baseball. Soup with, these, with you guys? Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 I don't know. I, I, 
I said, how is it with you guys in the studio here? Ah. Yeah, it, might, yeah, it might be a little harder. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're both they're both difficult. I think this. I would. I think I would have. I would have a harder time yeah. announcing a baseball game. Yeah, that's a baseball game. Because you have to. Well, I guess they have teleprompters that that yeah. that are constantly giving really? them statistics. Constantly oh. giving them statistics. You know, it's just yeah. the. The, the the Derek Jeter has three thousand one hundred and twelve hits. I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Tell yeah. Them exa- games going on right in front of them, so you you have to know what's going on. And they like can't be leaf- they can't be leafing like through an leafing right. through an encyclopedia. Exactly. Yeah. They, they gotta be like Tony here and know what's what's going on. Yeah, they would yeah. need Tony there to tell them, you know, all the all the statistics and all that, and referring uh, yeah. them back, referring them, them, them back all. to other games. Yeah, uh, that's right, David. I said, I said, listen, you guys, you guys have to do the game right. Listen uh, to me. Can you know what most of the strikes are? I, cu- I couldn't announce a game. No, you don't. No, I couldn't. Y- yeah. yeah. And then I go over and say, all right, we'll be right back in just a minute. But first, here's the word from your local stations. Yeah. And that's what I'll say to them. Now, John, is not a, he, he's not a good sports announcer. Oh. The, like Michael Kay was with him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, Michael Kay does a good, good, he does a good sportscaster on okay. BS. Right, you know? right. And uh, he, he does a good sportscast with other three guys. Right. But uh, he, he does a good job. Uh-huh. And uh, I think Michael K does a, he, 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 do, he does a fine job on his radio show called The Michael K Show, but he does a good job. Right. But I listen to him every night on that game wow. on, on, on the TV set. And he goes, he goes every game out, he goes wow. every game for many long years. Wow. And when they did the World Series, him and John says, we're going to be right. I said, John, are you, are you out of your kind of picking mine here? <laughs> John said, what do you think we are? Are the strangers here? And John looked at Mike and says, what? And John's looking at John's looking at Mike over here on this side of the booth, and he's looking, he's talking to, to, to Mike K. Right. And he says, "What do you think we're going to call balls and strikes here right. at night?" And he t- he's calling every player, every player in the team. See? Wow. And I said, "What's going into Michael K's mind?" Right. Stoney stinks. But now here's one of the crazy things about baseball. Right. Because because football has become as evolved. Yeah, with technology, a lot. Yeah. I think a lot quicker than baseball. Yeah, oh, they have like they have like, have like instant replays and everything, yeah, and they'll and they'll, and they'll watch a play and from like four different angles it's to try. Because a lot of plays are like that's hard, true. Are hard to judge exactly, exactly. what happens. Exactly. So, right. But in baseball, they got a guy behind home plate called the umpire, the home right. plate umpire. Yeah. yeah. And he's judging What's safe whether whether the pitch safe. is yeah. over the plate, right? Yeah. yeah. Between this, yeah. The, the edges of this yeah. plate. Uh-huh. Which isn't a plate, actually. It's um, yeah. it's I guess it's like a shape of a diamond. Okay. Like a triangle. Yeah. Some, something like that. Yep. Yeah. So, and he's got to judge whether the pitch is is inside. Uh-huh. He's got he's got a catcher in between him right. and yeah. and the ball coming across the plate. And the thing so it makes it yeah, it makes it kind of makes it kind of difficult to see yeah. exactly. Yeah. And they have to um, judge whether the the pitch. Is mm-hmm. the right height inside not too right. high? Yeah, they have to it's judge. They've got this this imaginary box that they're working with, where yeah. if the pitch is inside the box, yeah, and the batter doesn't swing at it, it's still a strike. Okay. Yeah. But uh, you have a lot of arguments still in baseball yeah. about yeah. balls and strikes. I'm sure. Yeah. They're not allowed to argue about it, though. The, nobody's allowed to argue balls and strikes with the home plate umpire. Yeah. He calls it, that's it, sorry, there's no instant replay. No, no none of that. No referees, nothing. Just nope, nobody else. You have to challenge it. But they, did, they, did, it. they did change Definitely. one thing over the Change's years. The if, the, um, if the batter does, what, a half swing, almost, almost swings, oh. if he's from the left-hand side, right. and... It's not exactly clear to the home plate umpire behind him yeah. if he actually right. swung the bat far enough to, for it to be an actual yeah. swing. Right. The home plate umpire can, can point down to the third base umpire because you'll see the, uh, the very tip of the bat. And if yeah. the, guy, if the, the third, play, third base umpire sees the tip of the bat, that means that he swung far enough. So the umpire, at his discretion, yeah. can point for a left-handed batter can point down there to the third base. For a right-handed batter, right. can point down to the third, the first base umpire, yeah. to get to get a, a second opinion on whether the batter actually swung swung, swung at the pitch. Yeah. So there's multiple umpires. Uh, I had no idea. You have huh? a home plate. Yeah. You have got first base, second base, second base, and third, third and third so base. So each base has an umpire. Yep. Yeah. Now it gets even more complex than that. It gets even more you know, wow. different in the in the playoffs in the postseason. Right. Yeah, they'll station an umpire down 
here down the third base line, past third base, down the third base ah. line, yeah, and they put one down the first base line. Why would they do that? I don't know. Tell me, David. Well, the reason for it is that yeah. if somebody hits a ball, you've got this white stripe. You run on the other side the, of the plate. The fair line, right? Yeah. And if the ball lands on the on on the fair side of the, the line, it's a hit. Right. The line right. lands on the outside. It's a foul ball. Yeah. If it hits right on the stripe, it's still a hit. Yeah. So they actually stationed two extra umpires, wow. one down the third base, one down the first base line, yeah. to add that extra layer of surety yeah. that whether the a ball was hit fair or foul. Yeah. And sometimes, I mean, it must happen so fast or be so, you know, it might yeah. be hard to tell. It is. You know, yeah. Oh, my God, eye. yes. Yeah. The fights that must fight. break out. One time, when, when like, the manager came out one time out of the dugout, he, he saw a fight. They were like fucking up. They're going to start fighting again. Oh my god! Kicking dirt. They're going to kick dirt. Oh my god! Yeah, kicking dirt. So they used to be. Um, well, um, what was his name? Uh, uh, I think Earl Weaver. Uh, Earl Weaver uh, oh, used to come out from the, from the Orioles. Used to come out. <laughs> and his his shtick was he'd come out and he he knows he's going to get. He figures he's going to get thrown out of the game anyway because he's already said too much wow. to the umpire. But he'll kick some some dirt onto the umpire. He was like, <laughs> and then oh, he, then, then uh, he, at least he gets his his uh, kicks. His, his kicks yeah. in. Yeah. Before he gets thrown out of the game, you know, like every movie I've seen about what? baseball, yeah. they always show the the umpire yeah. like communicating with the pitcher, yeah. and he does these signals like he's squatting and he's holding his mitt. Oh, okay. Head. And what is the finger signal? That's he's the doing? catcher. Oh, okay. okay. Well, what is he referring to? What are those finger Go ahead. signals? Go ahead. Oh, like, like this. Like, does it be like the fastball or the curveball? Oh, and yep. each number represents. Yeah. Oh. So he, when he when he got, when he, the pitcher goes up, to, when he pitches to, to the catcher, yep. the catcher's got to do like he wants to get the fastball here and the curveball over here between the plate. And why does he and why does he hide those fingers down yeah. between his legs? Show that to the pitcher. Shows it to the pitcher. He, so the pitcher can see it, but. Yeah. Not the batter. Not exactly. The batter. Oh. Not the batter can't see it. It's between him and the pitcher. Oh. So Say, all this time I've thought yeah. the umpire was the, was the, the catcher. Okay. So uh, when, when, you, when you get the pitch, yeah. Yeah. you got to see what direction he's going to do it. Wow. The, the, the catcher. It is complex. He's, he sees a guy going to first base. He's going to steal second base. they got to throw the ball to the second baseman yep. to get him out. Right. And the, and the umpire goes like this, you're out. Wow. Yep. So that's what you got to do. So there's one of the next guy goes up to bat again, like uh, like Mickey, uh, like uh, the Dave Winfield. Give me somebody up. good now. Dave Winfield. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Good choice. He got up to bat. He had a two-run homer and he yep. creamed it 150 feet. Wow. He was a good hitter, but I, I tell you, Dave Winfield has power in his hands. But he I was a yeah. good hitter. He was. There was a guy that got he got drafted What's in one? baseball. Huh. He got drafted in football. Baseball. Got drafted in basketball. Bo Diddley? No, no, this is a guy that actually Bo got drafted Jackson, by, uh, all, and, and in hockey. Bo Jackson. No, that's Bo Jackson. That was, okay. This is before Bo Jackson. Wow. Bo Jackson was a guy that they made the, the TV commercials, yeah. uh, Bo Knows. Yeah, yeah. Base, yeah. And and he, he played baseball, football. He, actually, he, he was yeah. pretty successful at both yeah. baseball yeah. And, and football. But yeah. this guy got... He played a little basketball, too, yeah. yeah. But this guy got drafted in hockey, baseball. Dave Winfield could have chosen any sport he wanted to play. Wow. Yeah. That was back before the day when when Bo Jackson actually yeah. played. Wow! More the White the, Sox. He would yeah he played in um, Chicago. He played in the football season and yeah. they're overlapping a little bit, so That's he, he missed some of the games. Yeah, wow. but he would play in both the baseball season and the football season. Which is, yeah. as you, you might imagine, that's that that's pretty taxing on the body. Yeah, yeah. to have to do both. Wow! How well, much well, money you? I'm sorry, sorry, this, but yeah. when you saw when you saw like you say like you walk into a baseball game one time yeah. when uh, they, Ma, they, Ma, the Don Mattingly got up to bat. Don yep. Mattingly, yeah. He just ready to he like this, go out, boom, and he killed the a two run homer and he killed it. Yeah. Goodbye. Right after that wall, 100 feet. Wow. He, he was a good hitter. What about Pete Rose? Pete wasn't Rose, he, yeah, oh, he got thrown a, out. Yeah, yeah, he got to get... To, gambling? gambling? Yeah, he, it wasn't even so much the gambling. Yeah. He had an addiction, granted. Oh. granted he was addicted to gambling. It was yeah. what he happened to be addicted to. He was. But the, uh, the, 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 the real difficulty was that he, he bet on, on games that he was the manager or a player in. Yeah. So it kind of tarnished the... You know, you have to wonder... W- evidence or no evidence, you have to wonder: right. Did he 
do something dumb to throw the game to make oh. the game that he had bet on. Did yeah. he did he bet against his team and then do oh something to make God, his team make lose? lose? But they've made movies about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, again, this is a, again this is a couple of, couple of years before Tony and I were born. But right, yeah. right. The, uh, the, the, the Chicago, white, Chicago white Sox. yeah, you go Chicago White Sox. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the guy named the guy nicknamed Shoeless Joe Jackson. That's right. <laughs> Joe Jackson. Yeah, but he was he was a good hitter for the White Sox, but they they didn't have a good team. They always lose, and uh, right. the, the team they always beat them. But I tell you something, I think the Yankees had a good ball club for many long years. But when when uh, Bob Levin was the manager for the Yankees, yeah, he gets up and says, "What we were going to do next with the the lineups? He up wow. the lineups, the lineup cards." Wow. And he goes up to the mound and says, "You all right, Gidry?" And Gidry just throws a slide, slide like a hundred feet from, wow. from how, like, like like the first base, right, right, right there, and he turns it, whoosh, took the guy out on a hard fastball. Wow, he's he's got a good slider. So what's what's a slider? Tell me what a slider yeah. is. Now a slider, you, you turn your arm like this, get your hand like this, you go like this, and you got to switch your arm this way to the plate and turn it back this way to the home plate, wow. and he threw a slider off the side there, but two hundred yards from the plate, and the catcher caught it. So the slider would move a little differently than a fastball. Yeah, the, like the fastball. Slider is a type of pitch. Is a type, yeah. Type, yeah, type of pitch. Yeah. We talked about the knuckleball earlier, except it's right. actually a fi- actually a fingertip ball. Yeah. Even though they call it a knuckleball. Um, slider. Um, Curveball. Changeup. Cur- Curveball. Curveball. Changeup yeah. is when you throw a pitch like this. That's slower. Like this. Oh. Because the batter, the batter's ready. The hit. His timing is is oh. gauged. To swing at, at a certain time, yeah, that, that's and if the the ball's coming in, and he swings, and the ball hasn't gotten to home plate yet, that's he's amazing. Not, he's not, not going to hit it. Yeah, no, he's not going to hit it. Because those balls must go so fast that you can't even like consciously. No, I mean it yeah. must happen so fast you can't even be conscious of what you're doing. You have to really your reaction memory, time has yeah. to be I know, amazing. I know, I know. That, really. Now look at the goose. He can fire a basketball by you. Goose gossage, yeah. The yeah. goose. He, like, he, he goes up the back. He throws a pitch like this. It was wow. 150 yards fast. Wow. He's hooking the guy out with a high curve ball. Miles an hour, I'm sure. Wouldn't but, want to get hit with one of those balls. But he 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 was a good pitcher, the goose and yeah. Dick Tidwell and Spocky Lyle. Now look at Lyle. Sparky was a Sparky had a good fastball. Yeah. He turns his arm like this. He turns his arm like this. He goes to the edge of the plate, and he swings off the ball off the side of the, wow. the plate right into the, the glove. So what's it sound like when the ball hits the catcher's glove? Wow. Like, like a like a time bomb going off. So it's it's a pretty it's a pretty clearly yeah. loud. Bat, sharp, sharp sounding. Curve. So, what does contact. it take to get inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame? Pete Rose was inducted, wasn't yeah. he? Or well, he, he, he would have been, yeah, if not for the huh. gambling. Hunter, what does it take to get inducted in the Baseball Hall of Fame? Uh, Hall of Fame was uh, who was in the Hall of Fame? Let me see here. They just uh, sent they just sent four more guys to the Hall of Fame. They oh, did. four more guys. It was. Uh, uh, I forget the guy's name. I can't remember what the guy's name was. There was one for the Red Sox. They pitched mostly for the Red Sox. Uh, uh, also P- pitched for Pedro the Martinez. Pedro Martinez pitched, pitched for the uh, Montreal Expos. Randy Johnson paid, pitched for the Red Sox and then pitched for the Mets at the end of his career. Wow. Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson. He used to yeah. play for the Yankees a whole time ago. Wow. Yep. He slides like this. Wow. He throws his arm off like a shot like this. Yeah, he had a hard, very hard, very fast pitch. Wow. When he, you see Randy Johnson pitch like like for Seattle one time ago when he throw, yeah. you got to throw your arm up. Don't pull your shoulder back this way. you got to throw it that direction to the plate. Wow. But he was a good hitter, a good pitcher for the Yankees and the, and, uh, for Seattle and the Diamondbacks for many years, but he was a good pitcher. But yeah, he pitched, he pitched um, one World Series. He did. Arizona and the Yankees. Yeah. 2000, it was right after 9-11, it was 2001. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And 9-11 was like that Randy year. Randy Johnson, Randy Johnson and... Um, Who was the other guy's name? Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling. Pitched for the uh, Diamondbacks in the World Series yep. against the Yankees, and they beat the Yankees. Now, Reggie Jackson, was he a player? Yeah. Was, now, was he one of the first African-American players to play? Or wasn't there one that was... Was, Which one? He was famous for being the first. Oh, Jackie Robinson Jackie was the Robinson. first. Yeah. Jackie Robinson played for the it. Dodgers. Yeah, yeah played for Gil, the Dodgers. Gary, yeah. uh, he was Gil he really Hodges. Was one of the most famous. Gil Hodges was the yeah. manager of the Manchester yeah. for many years ago. He and he he liked to manage like like Casey Stankel. 
Now, Casey Stanky used to play for the Yankees Jackie for a minute. Robinson. Jackie Robinson. Used to, they made a movie about him, didn't they? Who, what, yeah. Robinson? Recently. He's yeah. The, now, look at that. Kristen and I saw that, actually. We saw it at the Hall of Fame. You did? Well, how was in it? In Cooperstown. It was really good. Oh, wow. They have a little theater there. But yeah. And like, like the theaters, little. the theaters laid out right. like like you're in a baseball stadium. Right. Yeah. You have the seats, you have the like, baseball type seats that you're sitting right. in, and around the backdrop of the the, uh, the screen, yeah. it's like uh, this this outfield stands and uh, ah. and the sky. So it was pretty interesting. Yeah. But um, so yeah, it was Jackie Robinson and. Um, what was the movie about? What are we going to do? Here's here's a good question right. for you, Emily. Yes, Emily. What are we going to do? Because girls are playing Little League Baseball now. Yeah. I heard about there that. Was one that was, to... There was one that was really, really good last year that was a pitcher that yeah. was was extremely good. A girls uh, softball player? Mm, the uh, baseball. Girls playing baseball? Little League Baseball with well, the boys. Well, you know, it's interesting because there was a movie with Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell. The girls, they play a league of their own. Yes. Women had a female. Was it softball or baseball? It was baseball. All and right. The, and the reason for that was because the men were all fighting in the war. Yeah. yeah. So they had people wanted to see baseball, so they right. organized some women's baseball yeah. leagues. That's right. Now, now, look, look so is that, was that your question? What are we going to do? What, what are we going to do when, when, uh, when at some point, it's going to have to happen someday. Yeah. What, what David? When when a woman like maybe this, uh, th- I think she's thirteen years old, right. yeah. that, that pitched in the, the Little League World Series, oh, yeah. yeah, and was fabulous. She was a pitcher. She That's did a great right. job. I heard about that. She yeah. might make it to the major leagues. Yeah, she might be pitching in the major leagues. For there's, men or women? There's only one major leagues. Oh. Not the Yankees. So there might be there might be women playing in the major leagues, and and how are people going to react to that? Is well, it going to be like with Jackie Robinson, where they and Mickey Mantle say some say some pretty nasty things about? Her? They, weren't, they weren't exactly kind to Jackie Robinson when he no. played. Right. And uh, now, now look at Casey Stengel. He was a he was a good manager for the Yankees a long time ago. Yep. And when he used to, he used to manage the Yankees well many years ago. Yep. He said to his outfield, "We're going to play here. We're going to play there." How many did he use? For, how many teams did he have as, as a manager? And he, 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 was a, he was a good hitter, Casey right. Stenkel. And when he got the bat, he struck out. Casey Stenkel struck out. He played, yeah. Here's a good trivia question for you. Okay. Get, Who hit the first home run? The first World Series home run in, in Yankee Stadium? Basie Jackson. Uh uh-uh. uh. Casey Stengel. Casey Stengel did. It was an inside the park home run. Wow. Hundred feet. Where you hit the ball, then the ball bounces around in the outfield, and you make it all the way around the bases before the, they can get the ball back into home plate. Yeah. And Casey Stengel was, let's just say, he was kind of obnoxious when, okay. he, was, when he was a Not player. It. He was kind of, obnoxious. and and he actually after he hit mm-hmm. the home run against the Yankees, he, right. yeah. he thumbed his nose at the Yankee oh, dugout. Good. <laughs> But it's interesting what you say about women because right now yeah. looking at the the women's yeah. soccer championships. Yeah. yeah. You know, women I think they hadn't won since 1999 or you know and they won against Japan and they, beat them. they really I I mean I think it could if it were men's it probably would have made a bigger deal about it. Yeah. And they said FIFA the organization yeah. when yeah. the men had won the FIFA gave like the men's teams like five million dollars, yeah. but then wi- women win and they get two million dollars. Yeah. So I think there's always I don't know why women aren't getting the credit that they June. deserve or do. Well, I think I think the United States got a good team. They had they had, yeah. a, good, they had a good soccer team there and there. And when right. they when they scored a hundred like they scored like like five yeah. goals, right? They, they had a four nothing, they had a four to nothing lead, and they won the game like five to two. Yeah. And they were showing the, their their ball their trophy, yeah. but this it's deep true. their trophy, but this high. Yeah. And they showed they they had a parade about them all the way down the street. Yeah. And, are, are you even like what, the W um, West UConn? Their yeah. women's team yeah. is yeah. more of a money maker, Buy I think, more. than the men's team, but. Uh, I think you're right. I mean, I think women still aren't getting the due yeah. that they deserve. Do you think there'll ever be a women's baseball team? I think so. I, I think so. I think the, I the think women, women are going to be playing. Uh, I think yeah. I think yeah. I think yeah. Women are going to be actually playing with men's teams one day. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Why what not? do you think? Women play hockey? Yeah, they, they, yeah. they play hockey. Now, look at the, look at the women's, uh, UConn women. Right. They, they won the championship for many years ago. Oh, no. oh my yeah. God, yeah. This, this is their fifth championship they have won in the last right. few years. The men were like, terrible when they played. I think the women, they got a good team for next year. I think the women, they're going to come back stronger again next year, the women. 
Now look at Maya Moore. Maya Moore can score 50 yards. Right. But the other girl, oh man, she's fast. Yeah. But she can like this. She's just wanna go like this. She can shoot 150 feet. She 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 was a good she was a good basketball player too. Right. And I tell you something. I think I think UConn women are a very tough team. Yeah. But I like when I used to watch the UConn women for many years. Right. Like Jay Lanima is the he's still the coach for the for the UConn women. They used to play like their defense back. Right. There they want to see they're going to cover their their guards. Mm -hmm. Now look 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 at little Maya Moore. He just took off like bang. She took right. off like a shot to the to the yeah. to the basket. They might be more fun to watch than the men, I think. Yeah. In that, yeah. in that in that in that very few women can actually dunk the basketball. Yeah. That's so they true. so they have to play right. they sort of play more like the old school men's yeah. basketball. Right, yeah. Where there's there's a lot of passing and dribbling. And dribbling and a lot there's of a lot of ball movement around the court. Right. Yeah. Instead of just some guy it's one guy right. playing by himself and yeah. trying to right. charge through and and, yeah. and put the ball in. So yeah. in a way, there it's it's. I can see what you're saying. It's more complicated, right? But it's I, more interesting. I, I tell you, when you Marty went to a hockey game one time ago, you and Marty. <laughs> and Marty and I went to uh, <laughs> we covered a hockey game. Right, with, and, and then the, you showed the, the footage. The, yeah, the cam the camera along. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and Marty did the interviewing. And Marty, yeah. and he saw me on the camera. He was staring at me with the one of the cameras, in, and he stared at my like discipline. What's he, what's he looking at me for? It was like in Romper Room, where uh, with the uh, the. Uh, the Vera. The, uh, uh, you never watched Romper Room, but there's a show oh, called Romper Room, I do where, where she would say, "I see, uh, I, secret I see, I see Jane out there." And of course, every every little girl that was watching Romper Room that happened to be named Jane, Jane. was like, "Oh my God, she's she's, she's talking, she's talking to me. She actually talking to me." So so Tony, I'm talking into the camera to Tony. Right, right. And, and Tony knows I'm talking to him. Right, of course. But it's a secret between Tony and me. Nobody oh. else knows. Not Mark. He, 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 Marty, can Marty had no idea. No, no, Marty, Marty was just looking easy. What is he, is he doing? So he go, they, Marty goes into the the, the, the locker room. Right. And here hey, we're not going to get on. We're not going to get on the to, to, to oh to table tennis. We're not going to get on the ping pong. But we're we're out of time. It's been yeah. progressive soup. Uh, David Stevenson, uh, David, right. Emily, and Tony. Uh, Thanks for joining. Or actually, Enjoy we should it. say Tony, Emily, and David. David, that's yeah. right. That's okay. right. Thank you. See you next week. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.